Here is 1954 Lincoln sent in mint state 67 red. According to Heritage Auctions, this intensely lustrous superb gem scent offers deep reddish-orange coloration over both the obverse and the reverse. A degree of streaky tan color occurs near the top of the reverse, while the other side enjoys pleasing accents of lavender and powder blue. The strength of the design is readily apparent on the legends and wheat lines, as is the absence of any bothersome blemishes. The Philadelphia Mint accomplished a mintage of nearly 72 million Lincoln cents in 1954, this piece ranking among the finest certified survivors at both services. It was sold for $31,200. Nineteen fifty proof Washington quarter, graded as PR sixty eight deep cameo by PCGS, razor sharp and almost flawlessly preserved, showing stark contrast between the frosted devices and liquid like fields. Each side is brilliant, adding to the outstanding white and black appearance. The proof nineteen fifty quarter exists mainly in non cameo grades. Deep cameo pieces are inherently rare. This superb gem ended up selling for thirty one thousand two hundred dollars. 1953 S. Jefferson Nickel with Full Steps. Graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS. This piece shows warm, glowing toning over the frosted surfaces. The margins are blurred with the heavy dye erosion that is common to this issue, and many interior details also exhibit familiar softness, but the steps of Monticello retain their sharpness in the dye and are well brought up on the coin. It is free of bothersome abrasions, easily earning gem classification and it ended up selling for $24,000. 1977 S. Eisenhower dollar obverse struck through a retained staple. Graded as PR66 Ultra Cameo by NGC. A beautiful ultra cameo proof Eisenhower dollar, showing stark field device contrast and liquid like mirrors. A large copper staple is struck into and retained in the obverse, running from the Lee and Liberty to the opposite rim at 4 o'clock. It was sold for $9,000. 1977 D. Kennedy half dollar struck on a 40% silver planchet. Graded in mint state 62 by NGC. The expected weight of a silver clad half is 11.50 grams, and the standard weight of a copper nickel clad half dollar is 11.34 grams. San Francisco struck silver clad bicentennial halves, and a small number of planchets intended for that issue were instead mixed in with clad half dollar planchets and struck at the Denver Mint. This brilliant and satiny example has a nice strike and good eye appeal. A small strike through is on the field near the mouth, and minor contact is noted west of the ear and the nine in the date. It ended up selling for $7,800. As we draw the curtains on our numismatic exploration, we hope these rare coins have sparked your fascination for the hidden treasures of history. Remember, beyond their monetary worth, these artifacts encapsulate stories of civilizations and eras long gone. Stay curious, stay informed, and who knows, you might just stumble upon your own small fortune in the unlikeliest of places. Until next time, keep the numismatic spirit alive.